Microsoft released an app for Windows 8 called Project Sienna. And this is actually an app that is meant to allow you to build um, apps yourself, which you can then publish and even push to the App Store. Um, it's, it's a pretty interesting idea because you don't need a full board development system for it. You can actually do it on a, a lightweight, um, you know, Windows Surface RT. It, it, it's definitely something unique, right? I haven't seen the equivalent of it uh, from Apple for um, iOS. So the, the idea of being able to walk into some place with a tablet and start laying out some simple components and have some, some page navigation and bind to some external data sources um, all from a tablet, it, it's kind of cool. So I think the value with Project Sienna is that it lets you do really fast prototyping. Um, I like to picture a future scenario where you can take uh, that guru, guru of Excel and allow them to set up some real quick and powerful apps that let them slice and dice uh, a set of data they have and then pass that around within the company. Um, but some of the pitfalls I see to date are that it's really good at, at doing the, the hello worlds or the quick, I'm going to bring in a list of RSS feeds and uh, allow you to click on it to go to the details and see the author and title and the, um, the short description. Um, but then when you want to go further and, and you know, like actually render that RSS content as HTML or uh, you want to be able to click and open it in a browser, it, it seems like it's, it's falling short there. And I, I've only looked at it for a few hours, so it's, it's possible there's more depth there than, than this first impression, but it feels a little too shallow um, to be actually viable for creating production-ready apps. The user experience within Project Sienna is actually pretty polished. Um, it, it's a touch-enabled uh, WYSIWYG designer. Um, they, take, uh, they, they do some really powerful things with the app bar for uh, setting up the design properties of the components you're laying out on the screen. Um, They've they actually they've got things like item templating. That's that's you know a more advanced developer uh, concept where you you have a list and you want to go kind of drill in and, and for each list item I want a picture and a radio button and a piece of text and you can add all those components and then bind it to a list data source and and uh, it'll kind of replicate that out for each list item. So there's a lot of very powerful uh, UI features that um, are probably one of the stronger points of Project Sienna. As a developer, I don't know if I would use Project Sienna over Visual Studio um, for anything at this point. Um, I think the real advantage is for people that uh, don't know and, and uh, don't want to learn to code. Um, I, that's just going to be a natural bias for, for somebody that actually enjoys coding. Um, I get a lot more power. Um, even some of the templating for Project Sienna, there's, there's some very basic like preset list formats. But uh, the, the basic Windows 8 uh, app silhouette isn't there. Things like the back button and the title area, you kind of need to lay that out. So um, I guess it's a concern of mine that if people actually use Project Sienna to develop apps and put them in the store, um, there's going to be a lot of um, apps that look a little, a little janky, a little amateur. Um, uh, so I, I really doubt that many of them will make it to the store. It's probably going to be an internal corporate thing where somebody roughs something together quick or makes a quick power tool and sends it out and um, you know I we'll see maybe as Project Sienna matures uh, it'll actually start producing um, higher end apps that, that could survive in the store. Project Sienna is free and it is out now um, yeah it just recently got released and uh, you can just grab it and install it off the Windows Store.